Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's me, Sir Jesse Jan Esner, CISO, a college instructor of Ramon Mephisai Memorial Colleges. So for today's video, this is the continuation of the basic tutorial for teachers on how to use our new LMS, which is the Open LMS. For today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you on how to edit topics to add your students to make assignment, quizzes, and others. Are you excited? <laughs> but before anything else, I would like to say thank you sa lahat ng mga nanood ng aking uploaded video about Open LMS Basic Tutorial for Teachers and Students. Sana marami kayong natutunan sa aking tutorial. So, what are you waiting for? Let's do it! A few moments later. So to start with, you need to go to your browser, which is the Google Chrome. And then you need to type the official URL for our OpenLMS, which is the rmmc.myopenlms.net. So, you need to log in. So this is your account, you may proceed by clicking my courses, then I have here my two teaching low. so I would like to click this GE301, the art organization. And then in the left side, there are different topics, topic 1, 2, 3, 4, and then with that topics, you may edit it by clicking uh, topic 1 and then edit section. Then that's the right time that are you going to change the name of the topic. Sa akin, it's GE301 Prelim 2021. Parang gawin ko siyang folder intended for uh, documents for Prelim. And then save changes. Since our school, meron tayong um, exams for prelim, midterm, and finals. So, ginawa ko siyang ano, tatlon from GE301 prelim, midterm, and then final. It is good. Uh, gawin mo na lang siyang parang folder para uh, all the activities, quizzes, assignments is doon mo na lang siya ilagay. So, later, I'm going to teach you on how to uh, make uh, quizzes and assignment based sa inyong ginawang topic or folder. So, ayan. We are, we are in topic 3 na, which is the our, for me, ginawa ko siyang for final, intended for final. So, GE301 final 2021. And then, yung summary or descriptions all for finals. And then, click save changes. So, I have here, na-edit ko na siya. So, now, let's proceed now to how to add your student. By clicking course dashboard, click participants, and then in the upper right, may makikita kang, ito para yung uh, platform upon clicking the dashboard. So, in the upper right, may makikita kang enroll users. So, dyan mo siya. I-add yung students. So, you need to search for the surname of the students. Make it sure na nandun siya sa list of students for your for that certain subject. So, kunwari ito sila is mga sudyante ko din. After searching, then click enroll users. So, ayan, may tatlo na akong students na na-add sa aking subject. Next topic would be the attachment of PPT, make quizzes, and make an assignment. So now, I'm going to teach you on how to attach your PowerPoint. So you need to click this. And make it sure that you're going to open your folder na andun yung PowerPoint na ilalagay mo. All you need to do is to drag that PowerPoint to this area. 
malapit sa edit section. Then let's wait until ma-upload siya ng ating LMS. So uploaded na siya. So we need to edit yung title by clicking this pen. And we need to change the title or the name. So I'm going to change it into first topic about art. And then for the appearance, there are many options. Pero yung i-click ko is yung automatic. And save and return to course. Ayan. We already uploaded our PowerPoint or other activities dito sa ating uh, prelim na folder. Next, I'm going to teach you So, ayan pala. Nag-appear na siya sa ating folder. So, I'm going to teach you now on how to make an assignment. Easy lang siya. All you need to do is to add assignment name if it is your um, assignment number one. So, pwede din siya GE301 assignment one. Ayan. Sa description, dyan yung ilalagay yung question, your, yung assignment. For example, sa akin is, what is R? Ayan. And then, sa baba nito, you need to click this one. Display description of course page para makita ng estudyante yung assignment. And then, yung duty, kung kailan ang duty, okay, for example, sa akin is 19. And then, automatic naman siya yung at saka time din pala. Don't forget to place the time 1pm and then yung availability, automatic kung kailan ka nagawa ng assignment, it's automatic yun ang mag-appear na din. The submission type it's file submission and others. Hindi ko na yun siya ginalo yung iba dyan. After that is you need to click save and display. Then let's see kung nag-appear na siya sa ating folder. Yung ating 3 GE301 assignment number one. Tere! So ayan, nag-appear na yung ating GE301 assignment number one. And due date niya is 19 August 2021. So now, I'm going to teach you on how to make quizzes. Again, you need to click um, learning activity, then find quiz so it will appear like this your quiz so again you need to type a um, name of or title of this quiz padding 3 GE301 quiz number 1 yung description naman is hindi yung question but then yung instruction so I have here na prepare ko na siya so ita copy paste ko na lang siya dito sa box and click yung display description para makita yung estudyante and save and click the save and display there you go so ayan, andyan na siya so to proceed, you need to click edit quiz para mag-add ka na ng questions mo and then in the left side na makikita kang add so, you need to click add a new question. And then, I prepared a multiple choice. So, you need, we need to find the multiple choice na option and then click add. So, that's the right time na ilalagay na natin yung mga question natin for multiple choice. First is yung question name. Pwede ilagay nyo is question number one, question number two, and then, if you like to uh, shuffle it, pwede question na lang in that 
uh, yung, huwag mo na ilagay yung number 1 number 2. And then, so sa question text, dito mo na siya ilagay yung first na item or question or statement. Ayan. And then, yung sa baba, general feedback kung muna siyang ilagay, lagyan. And then, dito, you need to choose one answer only. And then, you have many options, choices sa ABCD. And then, yung choice one, yung choices number one, dyan mo siya ilagay. Then, never mind sa feedback. Then, proceed na kayo sa choice number two. So, ayan. Dyan mo siya ilagay. Proceed to choice number 3. Kakapi paste mo lang siya. It is good if you already prepared it sa Microsoft Word para copy paste ka. Copy, copy paste na lang siya para mas, mas madali. And then option number 4. It's Jan. Then you need to find the correct answer which is abstract. All you need to do is to click this gray and then click the 100% automatic na pag mag-answer yung sudyante uh, malalaman natin kung correct yung answer niya and then the correct answer is yung nilagyan nyo ng 100% sa grade and then click save and you may edit also yung how many points per certain item so 2 points automatic maglagay siya na points per item. So, let's see kung andyan na yung quiz natin. So, ayan. Nag-appear na siya. And then, let's explore naman sa student part. All you need to do is to click this uh, icon, admin. And then, click this switch rule to student para makita natin kung ano yung mag-appear sa account ng student. Then, click our folder. So, andyan na yung assignment na nilagay natin. So, ayan. Next is the appearance yung gin ginawa natin. Quiz. There you go. Madali lang, di ba? And then, to return to normal, you need to click again yung icon for admin and then change or switch to normal. There you have it! We're done, we're done, we're done. We're able to edit the topics, add our students, attach our PowerPoint presentation or PPT, make an assignment and quiz. So, I think Madali lang ba? <laughs> Comment down below kung madali. <laughs> and please, guys, please, please, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell para updated ka sa aking videos. You like it? I like it. So, see you on my next tutorial. Bye-bye.